Welcome back, baby. You're on your Feel Good Breakfast show right here on S3. And of course, this morning, we promised you that we would be getting to know a king. He is somebody who continues to push the margin when it comes to reggae music in South Africa. And he's not just the owner of Rough Cut Studio. He's not just a humanitarian. He is also a multi-platinum selling artist and someone who truly goes on in terms of pushing forward an art that many people don't actually know how to do. An art that many people are so inspired by. And this is why we're so glad to have him. Everybody, you're going to need to make some noise for the king. It is none other than Don Dada. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is how the best. are you? I am so good. This is the best intro I've ever had. I'm so blown away. Thank are you, you so much. Are you serious? No, no, no. It's thanks to the producers. <laughs> you did out, the thing, you know out. what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Don Dada, I love what you do. I mean, even the fact that you are the only South African mm -hmm. that is a part of the distribution that has to do with Bob Marley, yeah. it's, it's Tough Gong International, right? Yes, ma'am. That is incredible. Thank you. Thank you so Speak much. Speak to us about this. You know, where did this journey begin for you in terms of reggae music? Wow. So reggae music, it's, it's difficult for me to put it into terms because it began before I was born. Yes. In 1980, my mom met uh, Bob Marley in the streets of Harare, Zimbabwe, during Zimbabwe's independence. They had a brief conversation, and during the conversation, he had asked the two things. Promise that you're going to learn your African history. Mm. And number two, if you ever have a son, name him after me. Oh. So time passed. Seven years later, I was born. Seven years uh, almost to the day, because that was in April, and I was born in April seven years later. Anyway, my name is Menelik Nesta Gibbons. Menelik, after the king of Ethiopia, the forefathers of uh, Emperor Haile Selassie, mm -hmm. son of King Solomon, lineage of King David, sure. and uh, middle name Nesta, Robert Nesta Manley, Menlik Nesta Gibbon. So she kept the promise, which is also amazing because most, all the kids, all the boys, they have the same middle name, Nesta. So it's like wow. we're family. It's amazing. I love this man because <laughs> I feel like you're royalty yourself. Thank you. Thank it you. is such an incredible thing. And I feel like, you know, when it comes to reggae in South Africa, mm -hmm. like I said, there are a few of you who are genuinely pushing it yes. forward, but you're doing such a great job. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> what do you love most about this beautiful genre? Well, you know, reggae music is, is not just the music. It's a culture. It is a way of life. It is, it's a reflection of oneself. So when you listen to reggae music, it's only about upliftment, positivity, yeah. one love, unity, building and living together in peace and harmony. And I think that's something that this world is sorely in need of. As soon as you turn on the news, there's so much struggle, so much strife, so much drama going mm. on. We need some love. And that's where reggae comes in. We need some love. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. But I know as well that um, when it comes to you, Don Dada, you are someone who's so intentional with your music, yeah. which is so beautiful. Yeah. And this is why you've got three Mandela songs. Yes, ma'am. And the great thing about them is the fact that 10% of the royalties yeah. goes to the Nelson Mandela Fund. Yes. Uh, and all these really beautiful things that come from that are from you. So <laughs> shut out. But tell us about that in terms of, you know, how that even got started and why you decided to do that. Well, with the, the Mandela, uh, sorry, excuse me, with the Tata Mandela song, Songs. I was commissioned by MTN um, to obviously honor his birthday. It was the 100th year celebrations wow. of it. And when I sat down and I began to write, I decided that, you know what, I'm going to make this as beautiful as I can because this is a gift to a man who had gifted us as a nation most of his life sitting incarcerated fighting mm. for us. Um, so, so when I sat with it, I thought, you know what, not tradition, not, not normal hip hop instruments on the beat or, or reggae instruments. No, I'm going with traditional sounds from the, the Eastern Cape. And that's what I built it around. So, yeah. I started with that as a bass using the, the trap rhythms to build the beat. Um, I brought my friend in from Nelson Mandela Bay to do a beautiful intro. It sounds so amazing. And then, of course, I just had to show mad love, go through his life. I read Long Walk to Freedom, so every verse is a, a chapter of his life. And I, I hope... I hope the people see it as a beautiful reflection of his life as I see it because it, it was such a, a labor of love for me to make. I was literally going to say <laughs> something along the lines of a labor of love because that sounds like it was genuinely from the deepest parts of your soul, yes, which is so beautiful. But then talk to me about this because I know that with reggae music, you know, there's so many different organizations that do recognize it. Yes. Let's talk to you in terms of the achievements that you've had with reggae music. Oh man, reggae music has been such a blessing for me. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I started started reggae music, uh, I made my first song. It was entitled Ja Is Good, uh -huh. which is a beautiful thing. Ja is, is the, the, the rest of the term for saying God, which is also head creator. Yes. It translates into head creator. So we released the song, sent it to Jamaica, and immediately I got a call back from Mr. Leroy Scarlett, which is a, so... a great supporter of mine, saying that the Tough Gong International is interested in this. Would you mind listening, uh, sending it through? 
and seeing where it goes. Mm. I sent it through and they offered me a contract as uh, Rough Cut Studios, which I gladly accepted because not only does it open doors for myself, but it opens doors for all the other artists that I work with right here in Mzanzi, yeah, which is a beautiful yeah, yeah, yeah. bridge to be building between the Caribbean and South Africa, which we need to do more of because they are the sixth district of Africa. And thank you for being the Tata Nelson Mandela of that, <laughs> being the, you know, the freedom fighter yes, and allowing so many people to be a part of that. Thank but you. one thing I also want to ask you before we let you go and do a little bit of a mic test yeah. in terms of Lucky Dube. How did things change after he passed on? Oh, man, now you're talking about a sore spot for South African oh, reggae music. I know, you know because I know. That, is our, that is our Bob Marley. That yeah. was our legend, our icon. He carried the torch for us globally and the whole the whole Rasta community and not just Rasta community, but reggae listeners, every single one of us misses him sorely and deeply. But his influence and his power is always going to be felt when there's people like myself and generations that will come after me that will always carry the torch and remember his name and keep it high because Lucky Dube is a man amongst men. He is a king amongst kings. Yeah. He is somebody that will always remind right here at home. Don't doubt a man, I could listen to you the whole day. You're just amazing. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. You. And I'm so excited for you to perform these beautiful tracks for us. So this is why you need to stick around Expresso Family because Don Dada is going to be doing the things that need to be done all in the name of... Can. For now, we do need to jump over to the gents because they're doing the things that need to be done in the dining room. It's my feel-good breakfast show. La la la, Klaus Zivakam Nandi. When you feel good inside, man, you know you're in the right place, which is right here on Expresso. And we have got Don Dada in the building. Now, sir, I mentioned earlier on that you are doing incredible things and you just recently got selected for something. Please tell us about it. So I'm the first African artist to be invited by Jari, a Jamaican Reggae Association yeah. for the month of reggae for performances. Big up yourself, Elder Delroy Thompson. Come on, everybody, come on. Let's give that a round of applause, please. What does that mean to you? Oh, it's such a beautiful thing. African mm. history. So, you know, it's not just me, it's for the nation. Love yeah, that. I think <laughs> that you are genuinely doing such a great job and just showing everybody what it means to push something forward. And shout out to you and to reggae music. Thank you. And with that being said, I heard you've got a little bit of a song for us. Oh, it's a song not only for us, but for you and all the ladies in the world. Come on! <laughs> it is a woman of the world, or rather, woman run the world. But on Dada, everybody! <laughs> Please sound for all the ladies in the world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Woman run the world. They run the day. They run the day. Some you say woman run the world. They run the day. They run the day. Y'all know woman run the Man a die for the woman. Enough man a vex take life for the woman. Black card, go and shop and pay the price for the woman. Anything she want, me go and do it. So me say, woman run the world. So me say, woman run the Black princess, you don't need a man, you are an empress. Push up on your hand if you feel this. Got money that you invest. Soon enough, you're living off my interest. Raising you to by yourself, girl, you have to respect. Black princess, queen of my heart, you love the realest. Me looking at your eyes, and now me see forgiveness. Passion put fire upon the phoenix. Push up on your hand toward the ceiling, and let me hear you screaming. Woman, run the world, we run it. This is for the ladies Screaming out the world is mine Diamonds and pearls You deserve everything that's fine Fendi Versace You're wearing your own designs Red bottom, silk cotton Girl, you're dressed to kill When man down, you come round And your love heals No problem, we can't solve Just keep it real Cause they say Love is like a battlefield Woman oh, run the world They run it They run it So you say Woman oh, run the
Rastafari. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. Everybody make some noise. We are in the presence of greatness, my darling. It's John Dada, and this is exactly what we deserve on a Friday morning. It's so beautiful to be able to celebrate reggae music like this, and it continues. Do not go anywhere. We're going to be doing a whole lot, but that is why we've actually got Ralph standing by to tell you what exactly that is. Ralph, what's going on?